really important to know about this sandbar that we're talking about that's sometimes referred to as Shelly Island is that even with a low risk of rip currents in this area, the currents between the island and Cape Point, which is the land, can occur even if there's essentially no risk of, of rip currents. They're driven simply by the tides coming in and out of that location. The new formation just off Hatteras Island has caught the attention of beachgoers around the world. But this sandbar has been a hot spot for some time now, attracting fishermen looking for large predators. This is a particular popular place for folks to actually go shark fishing. There's so many fish in the area and a lot of currents, it appears to be a great place for them to hang out. There are definitely sharks in the area, and that's potentially another hazard that anybody that would be in the water would have to be well aware of. With dangers mounting, visitors are encouraged to stay out of the water and only travel to the sandbar by kayak or paddleboard. Chad Kozara captured the now famous photo of Shelly Island from the air, sharing the shot to his Instagram page. Visiting from Connecticut, Kozara says that he didn't think the sandbar was out of the ordinary. Because Hatteras, the, um, the sand's always shifting, there's always something new popping up, something getting washed away. So I didn't think much of it. He says he had to capture the moment by drone because there was no way for him to make it over himself. The current was so strong that you couldn't even stand still. A lot of water is going through it. They would just sweep you off your feet.